Hey everyone, it's your boy here, Abdurrahim, back again with another great, amazing tech video. Well, the video of today is all about the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, but I won't talk about the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. The only main thing which I think I'll be discussing about is the A13 Bionic chip. Now, I think the A13 chip pumped with a lot of new stuff, especially when it comes to core and neural engine. I think to my own kind of aspect, that's the thing whereby we should just discuss about it. What makes the A13 Bionic chip more powerful consider than other chipset which are out there, especially when it comes to Snapdragon and for Huawei, Kirin, I think to my own kind of aspect for this topic, let us just get started. Apple says that the A13 chipset brings some extra battery and some extra miles milestone, I can call it, on the battery side of life. Now, what makes it so special? The source is the Verge. Now, I'm gonna just scroll here. So, Apple revealed the chip will be power on its new iPhones that we know it's A13 Bionic chip. And another kind of stuff on the GPU and performance, the iPhone 11 took more milestone than other flagship, especially when it comes to Google Pixel 3. It lasted like it's the last one, having that kind of Snapdragon 845, but still, it lasted at the last i don't know why did they do that or because of that kind of um mark i think that's what's up so i think to my own kind of aspect what makes the a13 bionic chip it's all about the cpu and the gpu and the neural engine like i was saying so the neural engine i'll start with it it has eight cores and 20 percent faster and 50 15 percent lower power now let me just put it clear you guys know ssd solid state disk now ssd what it does it's so powerful it's so efficiently and it's so faster but something which is good about ssd it's good of seven power but having a hdd that kind of bigger rpm on hdd i mean the hard disk so having a hard disk it's like worst now i'm giving you an example here so as you can just understand this kind of phase whereby the neural engine what it does it acts like ssd now it gives all the faster performance and having all the core and make things a little bit flexible even if you're using a lot of powerful stuff on the phone still it manage all the tasks in a possible way and give you that kind of efficiently on your battery side now ssd same as how the neural engine works but a little bit kind of different because ssd is a storage but the, the the performance and stuff works the same hey something else we have the gpu well it tells you it's metal optimized for cores 20 percent faster and 40 percent lower power now the gpu is the one which does the graphics and stuff now i mean playing games um watching videos yeah it, it's there to do that so everything which does with graphical user interface gpu is there to guide you and it possibly in even a12 bionic chip we have seen it even other chips of uh, apple still they're doing marvelous when it comes on that i think to my own kind of aspect for this kind of gpu it works best when it comes to graphics and i i hope some of you guys know that another kind of stuff is the cpu the cpu has two performance to performance calls and 20% faster and even having a 30% lower power still you can see how much the cpu does its own kind of work since it's a central processing unit what it does it doesn't take a lot of power it just uses less power and what it does it convert that kind of less power into more power efficiency whenever you're using it so i think to my own kind of aspect that plays big role it, it makes even the a13 bionic chip stands out than other chipset out there though other chipset like if they compare with google to be friendly with you guys apple it's just that google plays big role on software software does the runtime of whatever the hardware does but when it comes to software software can be minimized at a certain point whereby the performance does its own kind of best and the battery does its own kind of level so i think you might be putting the uh, pixels down a little bit it's fine with you guys with your own kind of statistics but remember that software plays big role i think jumping out to the full conclusion is just that apple a13 bionic chip has mostly powerful chip as they say on the planet earth i never tested it out since it's 
not yet launched as well it's launched officially but not yet distributed so if i put my hands on it i'm gonna test it out and see what's happening and give you guys my recommendation so i think to my own kind of aspect you got it clear how much the a13 bionic chip acts out and stands out and even the other chip said how they work and stands out so thank you guys for watching if you like these videos today make sure that you hit the thumbs up you need here my name is abdurahim one so consider subscribing here to your homeboy here and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative and peace and if you didn't check out my last video what are you waiting for you should just go and check it out and thank you guys for subscribing we are hitting that kind of milestone so just hit this card 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 here up and go directly so catch you guys on the next one and peace Thank you.